to watching this morning, you're probably watching on a big screen TV. Of course, everything compared to this little baby is big screen. Back in 1947, this would have set you back about 300 bucks or over 3,000 by today's standards. I bring that date up in particular because if you turned on that TV in Cleveland 70 years ago today, you saw for the first time Ohio's first TV station. This is television station WBWS, your Scripps Howard station, first in Cleveland. The first in Cleveland slogan fit News 5 on a number of fronts. First television station in Ohio, yes, but first because there wasn't a lot of programming out there in the beginning, so we kind of had to come up with our own, which led to local shows like the first full credit college courses taught on television. Dorothy Foldheim playing a pivotal role over those first few decades, leading up to her program, The One O'Clock Club. I was telling me in the book, he describes his wife as one-third Italian, one-third Irish, and one-third lie detector. <laughs> There was Paige Palmer helping Northeast Ohio stay physically fit, as this 1953 clip showed. WEWS knows that for modern women and their men folk, mere beauty isn't enough. Exercising the minds of a younger audience was the pre-Sesame Street goal of Romper Room and Miss Barbara's Magic Mirror. I see Gordon and Diana and David and Philip. The Gene Carroll show spanned the early decades, bringing a variety of entertainment, local to national. Speaking of variety, there was polka variety for an older crowd, while Upbeat with Don Webster catered to the younger viewers, not only here in Cleveland, but across the country. You had rave reviews about uh, the motion picture, A Hard Day's Night. Do you plan to do another one soon? Yeah, we make another film in February. The Morning Exchange was the precursor to Good Morning America, a bridge between entertainment and news. The common thread through the 70 years of News 5 has been and a commitment to serving the people of Northeast Ohio not only longer than anybody else, but just like in those early days in ways others haven't yet thought of. First in Cleveland. And I think I can safely guarantee that that's the only place you're going to hear the word menfolk used in a story today. Happy birthday, Woos.